In this video I'm going to show you how to calculate a geothermal gradient, something they often ask you to do in the exam. So here we have a graph showing temperature across the top here and depth going down. So temperature would be in degrees centigrade and depth would be in kilometres. So if we put a scale on here, just roughly, this is a 1000 degrees centigrade, just here would be about 500 degrees centigrade and over here would be 1500 degrees centigrade depth here let's make that 50 kilometers 25 kilometers and then down to here 75 kilometers and just off the bottom 100 kilometers all right now our, our draw geothermal gradient in and for our purposes it's going to look something like this just a, a made up example and you can see from this diagram here that the gradient of this line is different to this line here okay and we need to work out what is the gradient of this part and then the gradient of this part i.e. how much does the temperature increase by per kilometer and how much does it increase per kilometre here? So the unit we need to record in is a rate, which is degrees centigrade per kilometre. So if you always write down the, the rate that you need, the units, and the order you need them in, it's much easier to work it out. So if we take a line roughly across here, the, the depth through this section, obviously mine's not very accurate, but it's roughly 50 kilometres. So 50 kilometres is my first line. And here you now need to work out what temperature it is when it gets to 50 kilometres. And mine is going to be, if I had a ruler and I drew a line down here, I could find it's roughly about 1,100 degrees centigrade. So let's write that in, 1,100 degrees centigrade per 50 kilometers. Now to calculate this what I need to do now is use a calculator. I put 1100, 1100 into the calculator and divide it by 50 and what that gets me is 22 degrees centigrade per kilometer and that's my rate. For this line here the temperature increases by 22 degrees centigrade for every kilometer. So that's the geothermal gradient for that one. Now for this line it's um, less steep. You can probably see this one increases less over a certain uh, distance of depth. So let's work this one out. So let's start again. We need degrees centigrade per kilometer. Okay. Now this is at, fi this is at 50 and we want to know what it is at 100, so that's an increase of 50 kilometres again. So we've done 50 kilometres again. All right. How much does the temperature increase by? Well, it starts here at 1,100. All right. And then if we draw a line up here, it goes to about 1,400. So the increase in temperature between 1,100 and 1,400 is 300 degrees centigrade. Okay, so we put in our calculator 300 and divide it by 50. And that gives us an answer of 6 degrees centigrade per kilometre. So for this line the geothermal gradient is 6 degrees centigrade per kilometre, i.e. for every kilometre you go down here it increases by six degrees and you can see that's a much lower rate than this one and that is how you work out a geothermal gradient